in this video we are going to see how to create or how to generate a lane slope report from civil 3d so the lane slope report means it will give the lane slope of our corridor at a specified interval which is defined by us so in my drawing i have an alignment here i have an alignment here and also I have the profile so in the profile view i have a super elevation band where yeah, my super elevation is defined you can see it shows super elevation variation along the alignment so by a corridor lane slope report what we are getting is the super elevation value of each lane at uh, a specified interval so for example if the super elevation or the slope value of 190 station it is something uh, different from the value of the left side of the lane and right side of the lane because you can see there are two different variation of the super elevation so from a lane slope report we can directly get what are the lane slopes at that station and also uh, any other stations uh, which we define so to do that we need a corridor as well as sample lines so i have sample lines here i have also created the corridor here so to create the corridor we need a special kind of assembly so i will move on to my assembly here so you can see this is a normal two lane assembly but here we are using a special kind of uh sub assembly type no, not actually a special kind but a usually used uh, as sub assembly which is the lane super elevation aor so if you want to find where it is i am going to this tool palette here so it is on the lane step and at the top of the lane step you can see the lane super elevation aor value aor sub assembly so that is how you uh, create this assembly for the corridor so when you are creating the corridor and we are, when you are creating the assembly you have to give the correct lane slope or the super elevation slopes to this assembly so to do to see what is the correct super elevation you have to go to the alignment so i am going to the alignment i'll select the alignment here then under super elevation on the ribbon i'll go to view tabular editor so i have this super elevation editor i'll expand expand it so in there you will have to see you have to check where is the super elevation changing column so you can see on the left side super elevation is changing on left outside lane others are zero you can see so if i move to the right you can see my right side is changing on the right outside lane so on the assembly or the sub assembly you have to set the right outside lane and left outside lane for the super elevation options so i'll close this one now i will move to the assembly i press escape so now i select this assembly and go to sub assembly properties and go to parameters tab and i will check what is the super elevation value i have set this is where i have to set my super elevation so make sure your left side has the left outside lane or left lane outside super elevation option that is the option we have in the alignment so another thing we have to make sure is your outside point code it should be edge of payment or etw if you use any other option from here it will not give you the correct lane slope options in the report or it will not give you the lane slope when you create the report so make sure you are getting this correctly edge of payment or etw for the outside point code so in the similar manner if you go to the right side you have to set the super elevation value in the parameters tab for the right lane outside and your outside point point code should be edge of payment 
so if everything is set accordingly then you have to create the sample lines so if you want your sample lines or if you want your lane slope at 10 meter intervals you have to create the sample lines at 10 meter intervals if you want your lane slope lane slope at 20 meter intervals you have to create the sample lines at uh, 20 meter intervals so if you want it in some other way like for the tangents to 20 meter intervals and for the curves 10 meter intervals you have to specify that when you are creating the sample lines so after setting everything you have to go to toolbox tab here then go to under report manager you have the corridor if you when you expand the corridor you have the lane slope report option you have to right click there then go to execute so it will show you this corridor here where you have created using the assembly week sub assembly week uh talked about a little while earlier so once you select this one it will show you at uh you, you can set at what station range you want this uh report so i am going to get the report throughout the alignment and you have can set the uh, report type here so this currently this is html report so if you want to get a excel type report you can set excel 93 2003 workbooks type here so it will directly give you the excel type report so you can if you want you can change the name here as well i'll click save now and when i now i click here to create my report so it will open up uh, the report in a short while so now you can see my lane slope report slope to the left minus 2.5 slope to the right minus 2.5 at station zero and you can see at some stations we have a super elevation transition you can see here on the right side also you have the super elevation transition transition so likewise you can get all the super elevation transitions and all the uh, super elevations at 10 meter intervals according to this report it will also give you the existing ground elevation and the finished ground elevations so if you know the uh, lane offset you can directly calculate the lane edge elevations from this data also it gives the uh, center line coordinate as well at these locations so this is how to create a lane slope report from civil trading